Recall we discussed that public key encryption is typically used to establish a symmetric key for encrypting messages, say between Alice and Bob. That is, before Alice and Bob can communicate securely, they would use public key encryption to exchange a shared secret key. Of course, Alice and Bob can first establish this key before Alice can send Bob the first message encrypted using this key. But with public key encryption, we can do better, meaning that we can do it in a more efficient way. With the so-called digital envelopes, Alice can send Bob a message encrypted using a shared key that she just created, and this shared secret key itself is encrypted using Bob's public key, so that only Bob can decrypt and extract this shared secret key. This is similar to the situation where only the intended recipient can open the sealed envelope. To illustrate, Alice first creates a symmetric key that she wants to share with Bob. She encrypts the message using this shared key. Then she also uses Bob's public key to encrypt this shared key, and then she can put the encrypted message and the encrypted key in the envelope. Then she can put the encrypted message and the encrypted key together and send them to Bob. On the receiving end, Bob can use his public key to decrypt the encrypted shared key. Once he gets the shared key, he can now decrypt the encrypted message and get the plain text message.